Hi everybody, I'm Earl Turner, and I am so honored to be a part of this very special occasion as we celebrate our friends, Santa Fe and the Fat City Horns. We all know and love this talented group, but how many of you really know their story? Well, let me tell you about it. Santa Fe began as the Lopez brothers, Gilbert, Jerry, and Lenny. Their father, Gilbert Sr., was an aspiring singer and guitarist. And it wasn't long before these little boys developed a love for music, just like their dad. He, in turn, recognized that his sons had talents of their own. When Jerry and Gilbert were only five years old, their dad would dress them up in costumes and take them along to sing with him and perform with him. As their popularity grew, so did the band, and their youngest brother, Lenny, soon joined them. Eventually, the group would add other musicians and become very well known as the Lopez Brothers and Company. What's next? What else? Vegas, baby. Dad loaded up the little red bus and headed for the bright lights of the big city. Their first stop, a place I'm sure all of you will remember, a nightclub called the Scarlet Wagon. Okay, maybe not, but you gotta start somewhere. After all, this was Las Vegas in the 1970s. As fate would have it, they would soon be discovered by a successful Vegas talent agent who was producing a brand new topless show. Like everyone who had seen the band, he too was impressed. There was only one problem, the name. In his opinion, the Lopez Brothers and Company just wouldn't work. In their discussions, he finally asked, where are you guys from? Their response, Santa Fe, New Mexico. The agent paused for a moment, then referenced the popular recording group Chicago, and it was done. You guys will be known as Santa Fe, he told them. Through the 70s, 80s, and well into the 90s, Santa Fe would become a must-see attraction in Las Vegas. The band would earn a reputation for presenting the very best in musicality and professionalism. Their fan base would grow to include musicians and singers, not just on the local scene, but on the national level as well. The band showcased itself as a group with extraordinary individual talents. Their success led to many opportunities. For example, Jerry and Lenny got a chance to work with and tour with many of their idols in the recording industry, like Bill Chaplin, Luis Miguel, Tom Scott, Ricky Martin, and doing so gave them a chance to meet other talented musicians who also made Las Vegas their home. While spending time on the road, these guys realized they shared a love for similar styles of music, and they wanted to play that music together at home. Now the band had to be big. The band had to be big. With a cooking rhythm section, you know it, and killer horns, the best anywhere and they needed a name. Successful musicians often used the phrase, living in Fat City. When that phrase came up, they all knew they had the name, Santa Fe and the Fat City Horns. And with the name came the band's credo, to play the music they loved, not just for the money, but for the pure joy of it. What many of you don't know is that all the money the band earns from merchandise sales is put into a kitty. Over the years, that money has been used to help someone in need. If there isn't enough money in the kitty, the band members will often forego their pay to help out. This is a pledge every member honors. Six years ago, the Jerry Lopez Scholarship was established through the National Latino Behavior Health Association. These scholarships go to students who seek continuing education in the fields of mental health, alcohol and drug addiction, spousal abuse, family counseling, and other issues that affect both Latino and Native American communities. Since its inception, it has awarded over 50 of these scholarships to deserving students. Yet, the giving doesn't stop there. You see, Every Monday night in their home at the Copa Room right here in Las Vegas, Santa Fe and the Fat City Horns gives us a healing. A healing of the best kind. A healing of the heart. A healing of the spirit. A healing of the soul. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with gratitude that we present the Dean's Medal Award 
to Santa Fe and the Fat City Horns.